is the 19th of May and it's the last home game of the season Spurs versus Aston Villa. Come and watch with me and see how we get on. We are seven from the line. Welcome to what will be the uh, final game of the, well, final home game of the season, I should say, uh, here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. It's uh, Spurs against Aston Villa. It's going to be uh, an interesting tie as Spurs try and finish in the European places. Um, chances are that we won't finish in the Champions League, being another results, but uh, chances are we uh, might finish in the, uh, in the new Europa Conference League. But that's uh, kind of uh, a thing where we have to try and. Uh, finish as hard as possible we can and we'll see where we where we are at the end of the season. Well it seems that the chairman has actually uh, written to the fans to uh, talk about his hopes and dreams about the uh, well, what he's hoping for the future and uh, post pandemic and all that and uh, also I think it's probably referenced the uh, the, um, the protest that, that happened last week if you don't know about it it's about 2,000 people turned up for the first on the Saturday and about 50 turned up on the Sunday to uh, protest the chairman and it looks like he's uh, God's one way to try and uh, address that, but uh, whether that will help or not during this game, it's another thing. We shall see. But uh, there might be a few songs sung about the German. There might be a few songs sung about Enoch, but we shall find out when the game kicks off. Oh, that's it. Go on, Bergwijn. 
down any time we want to now, any time. Ah, uh, here we go. Good block there by uh, my guy. We're not, we just let Villa run off us at the moment. Jesus. Okay, you're inside now, you got space, I'll move it. Go on, Winks. Oh. Well done, Sonny. That's a good, go on. Oh, can you have seen the vine there? That's a foul. Faster, Dele. Come on, you can't slow it down like that. Fucking hell. Jeez, Dele, man. Come on, man. That's the deck, go on. Awesome and you have a chance, Gary Bird, man. Come on. Uh, what are you doing, Reggie? What are you doing, Reggie? Calm the fuck down. Okay, two mistakes in a row, and here we go. And it's 2 1. The fucking hell are you doing, Reggie? Come on! Popping around with the ball, man. Second goal for Aston Villa scored in the 13th minute from number 11, Holly Watkins. That wasn't good. That wasn't good at all. Jesus. Somehow Louis saved the shot from... Oh, this is poor, man. This is absolutely poor. Oh, that's a bit easy. Lucky, man. Well, as you can see, it's 
2-1 to Zilla at half time. What a joke of a first half that was. Basically, took the lead, nice early lead, and it just seemed that, uh, well, we're just destined to go out and try to go on, on to win. It was a lovely head of a regular bit of the ball, three goals, in fact. It was also this header down that um, went straight to Bergwijn, who took on a couple of players and uh, slots it in, making it 2 1. And then uh, that's when it all went apart. Reglon and Tapan then Villas equalised with literally, well, more than had a foot. A lovely volley right to the top corner of the net. But he wasn't his, he wasn't his own goal. And then. Uh, and then he just really dallied on the ball, gave it away, and forward position. Villa counter attack quickly. Holly Watkins gets the goal. 2-1, and then he almost had a, well no, it wasn't this one this time, we got the um, Harry Wink who gave the ball away, got to play around in the back, and then brain injury. Oh, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to say, I don't know what to do. Well, poor first half that way. Second half needs to improve a lot better than that. Needs to. Good ball, Kano. Come on. That's a good ball. Go on. Go on. Go on. That's it. Oh, oh Devin Smith gets out. I don't believe it. That's it. Oh. 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 Jesus Christ. Oh my word. Well, I was offside apparently. Number 15 again, here we go. Jesus. If they're going to score a third one at some point, believe me. Okay, oh, there you go, there's Reggie. And uh, easy enough. That's been a match so far. That's been a match. Don't do that! Don't do that! Oh, fucking hell! How oh, lucky are you there, Regulon? How oh, fucking lucky are you? Let's just watch him, Spurs. Oh my god, here we go. Let's move it straight through there. Lucky that he fell over. We're just gonna walk straight through us and score one of the ones we really that's how it looks. So the two people's further are facing number 23, Stephen Bergwine, number 9, Gary Bell. Okay, well, Bergwine did his best. Unlucky. Gone and Bell, that's what he can do. Well done, Tenganga. Brilliant. There's another foul then, ref! At what point are you going to get your cut? What are you giving? Oh, you're a fucking old ref. You're a joke. Yeah, well, soon to Ganga, and the referee didn't even book the Villa player for that foul. Oh, here we go. Off the post, bloody hell.
<laughs> no, Zach Wilson said that Billy could be three or four one up right now. What do you make of that then? That was absolutely poor. Words just really, really fail me. They really do. I don't know how... We played that because the end of the season and... We played that there was nothing left to play for, which... is one of the factors, really. There's no trophy to play for. There's no title. Oh, it's just been really poor. That just sums up our entire season, really. Uh, moments of greatness. The point where we top the league for a good month. And then that fall straight after. And then Mourinho's sacking. And then come, culminating in this. This, what do you call it? And then the high of getting into a cup final. And it just piss it away on the day. And then... Uh, it's absolutely... Ball, really, and I'm not quite sure where we go from here. I really am not sure. It's been you heard the chance as well at the mid part of the game, leave it out. Many want regime change, and I can't really say I blame them. It's just it's, it's poor from start from top to bottom, really. and where, where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? Well, on the game, Villa defended well and they attacked well. They hit the post right at the very end. But uh, well, the players are now doing their, a little lap of honour. Kane there. The way, he's, the way he's doing his own little applaud on there. Maybe that is a. Maybe that's a way of him saying thank you and that he's looking to leave. Well, we know he's looking to leave. He's been looking on the car for a while. But this, this is just a sad way for it to end, really. It reminds me of. Um, right, of uh, Brian, Brian Clough's last game for um, Nottingham Forest before they were relegated. This is kind of how it feels. I mean, what can you say? He's been a good servant to us, and if he does go, then he goes. It is what it is. But, in my... In my head, a lot needs to change. A lot does need to change. Because we've gone backwards in a short space of time. Pochettino talked about the need for... to be brave. And we did not take that... We did not take that off and off at all. We did not take it off at all. You see there's Sonny and uh, Dele there, along with Bale. Uh, we need a lot of changes and we'll see what happens this summertime. This is the important summertime now. We'll see what they do. But the final score here at uh, the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, the finished Tottenham 1, Aston Villa 2.